careful. We gotta put a little excitement in here though for you, you know what I'm saying? Your boy might have made a little mistake. What's good everybody? Who is Louis 13 back again? I am Louis and this is the whip. You guys see it for anybody who is unfamiliar. But uh, before we get a little cold start for you guys and all that, let me throw this in the whip. You know, nice little GoPro, you know what I'm saying, with the head harness, how I get the POV action. Throw that on in there. And uh, as you guys can see in the title, in the thumbnail and everything, um, I have done quite a few things to this car already. The 2020 Dodge Charger 392 Scat Pack Wide Body. And if you're familiar with the kid, you know, with the content, with the channel, then you know I like to do whatever I can myself. You know what I'm saying? Anything that I can do myself, I like to give you guys those DIY videos. And, you know, I like to learn as I go because um, if you guys have been with me from the beginning, then I told you guys, you guys would know that I'm not an expert when it comes to the cars. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm learning as I go, like as a lot of you guys are. So... You know, it's kind of cool because you guys get to, you know, you get to grow with me and you get to see for yourself that you don't have to be an expert, you know, when getting into something. You know, you can learn as you go and become good at something. So I'm learning a lot of stuff and I have learned a lot of stuff. So a lot of the stuff that I've done to this car, I've done myself. But um, as a lot of you guys may know, along the, along the journey, when you're learning things or in anything, even in stuff that you're an expert in, there's trial and error, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna go, you're gonna come across um, issues and you know, you're gonna make mistakes and stuff. And I may have made a little mistake, but uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna hop in the wide body and we're gonna go on a little ride and um, I'm gonna get your guys' opinion. Can you guys see the merch? You know what I'm saying? If you guys wanna support the kids, support the channel and all that, feel free to do so all links are in the description um, as well as the gaming channel but without further ado man let's get this little cold start and then we'll go on a little ride One of the things I did do, if you guys could tell, I lowered that baby. You know what I'm saying? Put the springs on it. And I also put these little LED, uh, smoked LED side markers in the front end and the back. As you guys can see. You know, and we ain't done yet, man. We're just barely getting started. We got a long way to go. Blip. Somebody told me that in the comments. They said to blip it to about, I think that's how you say it, blip to about 2,000. You know what I'm saying or so. Help out with the Hemi tick because these things don't do too good. Um, low RPMs, so you don't want to leave them on too long. We'll, we'll make a separate video about all that. But uh, as I said, man, we're about to go on a little ride and talk about. You know what's been going on and you know um may have made a slight little issue man i hope i didn't mess anything up but i'm gonna like i said i'm gonna get your guys' opinion on it switch it up man I like to get the, the little POV action sometimes I like to use this camera here you know a6400 and by the way all the links are in the description to everything I use and recommend if you guys are interested in any of that but um, I like to get several different you know point of views for you guys 
no pun intended, you know, we got the point of view, which we're doing right now, which I like a lot, you know, that's what I like to see when I watch channels, so, you know, I got to incorporate it in mine, you know, sometimes I like to talk to you guys, so I'll get the other camera and I'll point it at my face, you know, um, which one do you guys prefer though, man? I like to get your guys' feedback. Do you guys like the point of view? Do you guys like a little mixture? If I had to choose one or the other, I would prefer point of view. But if I could have it my way, I like a little mixture. So that's what I like to do with my channel. Uh, what do you guys prefer though? Do you like all point of view or do you like it a little mixed up? You know, point the camera at my face sometimes while I'm talking to you guys. Or do you prefer just strictly point of view? You guys don't like to see my ugly ass face, you know what I'm saying? Even though I am cute, but you guys are guys, so. You know, we ain't gonna make it weird. We ain't gonna make it weird. But yeah, um, anyways guys, let's get to the point of why I'm making this video. And the point is, your boy might have made a little mistake. Or at least it seems like it, you know? And um, what that has to do with, what it has to do with, I think, is the springs. As I showed you guys, I did install some springs on here. Um, I've never done anything like that before. My boy that I had helped me, he, I think that that's pretty much what he does at the shop that he works at. And then my other boy that helped me, he also has done that before. Um, but there was a point where, you know, I pretty much you know felt like I had it and I went off on my own and you know started doing it myself a little bit you know while they were working on something I was working on something so it's not like he was watching me the whole time so I don't know if I messed something up in the process but maybe you guys that have experience with springs and all that can help me out a little bit because as far as the ride goes you know um, it's pretty good man it's not too bouncy you know it is a little more bouncy obviously that's like you know it's gonna come with putting springs on you know but it's nothing like major but one thing that I did notice that I have noticed and you know I wasn't too sure if it was because I didn't get the alignment right away or you know my tires in the front are pretty bald but the steering like it pulls like crazy you know like right now it's doing all right you know I'm going in a straight line but watch we'll go down this road right now and I'll show you guys I talked to a few people that have springs and they said that yeah it does do that but I mean I just drove my boy Franco's Mustang which has springs and his wasn't pulling or at least not that I noticed not how mine does and this thing pulls like hard when I'm on a on this road right now it's all right um, but you guys will see right now it doesn't seem normal if I hit any sort of bump in the road or if the road ain't like perfect it's gonna pull like let's see if you guys could notice see like how it's already going this way and then it comes back See how I hit that little bump in the road. I don't know if that's normal, you know? Should it still keep going straight? Like, I don't know if it seems like an alignment thing or what? You see how it just keeps going to the side? Is that like an alignment thing? Or is that something that you think I messed up in the process of installing the springs? Because this thing will pull like crazy. Speaking of pool, <laughs> That ain't the type of pull I was talking about. I gotta be careful because your boy ain't working with good tires right now, as you guys know. We gotta put a little excitement in here though for you, you know what I'm saying? Like real, look at that, like, 
see how I have to force it I have to like really hold it tight in order for it to go straight I don't know is that normal you guys or what because like I told you guys I ain't no expert when it comes to this stuff I'm learning as I go guys think man is that normal like I really have to hold tight and it's not even just when I'm going fast like I could just be going a normal speed damn I think <laughs> my car wants to go right now that's the thing I like about these uh, chargers though aside from all the stuff we're talking about right now I do like how when you get in that mode when you're like you know getting it and you got it in track mode that thing is gonna want to get it it's always gonna be ready to go you know what I'm saying how it keeps the RPMs a little high for you. It knows what you like. stuff all the time but you guys know I need new tires so it's like I might as well get it out of my system while I can <laughs> just a little light one you know what I'm saying a little light one for the boys now, I know what a lot of you guys are gonna say like what do you expect this is what you guys are gonna say what do you expect when you're driving like that right that's what a lot of you guys are gonna say but I don't think that's the case you know I do I do drive this thing um, pretty aggressively you know maybe more than uh, others would say is smart to do but look look see you guys see that see how it goes it hits one little bump and then it just goes like hard in whatever direction it forces it to go in now is that normal because when I feel like when I first got it it was tight you know what I'm saying like I could hit a bump and it would continue to go straight but now it doesn't seem that way. I don't know if I'm tripping, uh, if it was always like that, or if there's something wrong, you know, something that I may have done wrong in the process of putting the springs back that messed it up. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. I don't think that's normal, man. Especially, look, look, see? See how it keeps, I don't know if you guys could tell, but it keeps going this way a lot. If I hit any sort of bump. I'm trying to get you guys some good visuals to where you can see what I'm talking about but if any of you guys have experience with this you know with springs let me know man is it normal is it a normal thing for springs or should I get it looked at and um, maybe see if I did something wrong smell that burnt rubber and stay tuned for the swing video I got that coming ASAP man Within the next couple days, I'm gonna go get that done for you guys. And then the new tires are on the way. They're already ready for me. I just gotta do the swing video, and then boom, straight to the shop to pick up the new tires. And check it out, this might be a good road to show you guys what I'm talking about. It's like it won't stay straight it doesn't want to stay straight like and I got the alignment done and all that you know look pull this way and it wants to go back I didn't torque the bolts down there or anything I just put it tight you know I didn't put it like extremely tight but I put it tight enough to you know where it would be secure um, from what I, from my understanding, you don't have to torque those bolts down there on the control arm and all that other stuff that you mess with when you put the springs in and take them out. So I didn't do any torquing. I just tightened it really good. Um, obviously I torqued the tires, but you know, I don't know, man. I just feel like 
I just feel like it isn't normal, you know? What do you guys think? I'm gonna try to get you guys some more examples here, you know? Just so you don't have to go based off what I'm saying, but I think I got you like some pretty good examples. Like any sort of bump, it's just gonna pull very hard. And it just seems like I gotta really hold it firmly for it to stay straight. And um, I don't know, man, I don't think that's normal. But look, it's not doing nothing. You guys see it? See how it's like just going all over the place? So now it's gonna go this way. Is that normal or what? I feel like a brand new vehicle should just stay straight no matter if you're hitting bumps or whatever. See how it's just going wherever it wants? See that? And I feel like it did. I feel like, you know, it stayed straight no matter what when I first got it. Now, I don't know if that has something to do with the tires being very wore in the front or, you know, if it's the spring installation, like I'm saying. Hopefully I didn't mess anything up. You know, what do you guys think, man? Give me your guys' opinions, help your boy out. You know, drop it down below in the comments. I would appreciate it greatly. You know, you know I like to get your guys' opinions because I know there's a lot of uh, knowledgeable people out there that watch these videos. Uh, a lot of people that talk shit as well that think they know what they're talking about, but there is a lot of knowledgeable people and I appreciate your guys' feedback, man. So if you could help your boy out and you know, give me your guys' opinion, I would definitely appreciate that because I need to know, man, if I should take this thing in and get it looked at just to make sure I did everything correctly. Even if I got to pay that extra money or whatever, you know, I saved that money anyways when I did it myself, but I just want to be sure that I didn't do something wrong in the installation and then, you know, over time something's gonna get worn out or, you know, uh, mess something up even worse than it already is by not doing it the correct way, you know what I'm saying? So, that's my whole reasoning for making this video. Here we are, back on this camera. You see, you see how I like to switch it up? I like to switch it up. See, now I can talk to you guys like this. You know what I'm saying? You guys can see the merch and all that. And you see, I don't know if you guys can notice that I'm having to like struggle to keep this goddamn thing straight. But I really do. And I feel like that ain't normal. I feel like it ain't normal. So like I said, if you guys could help your boy out, I would really appreciate that. Uh, let your boy know, man. You guys are the best, man. You guys are the best. I could come to you guys when I need some help. You can come to me when you need some help. We help each other out, man. That's what it's all about, this whole community, the car community. Not just Mopar community, but the whole car community as a whole. You know what I'm saying? I love it, man. I love it. That's one dope-ass thing about having this channel is I can help people with the stuff that I know. And then you guys can help me stuff that you know you know so it's a whole lot of knowledge being passed around knowledge and wisdom and you know what i'm saying just a whole lot of camaraderie man so i really do appreciate it um as i said before you guys see we got the merch you know what i'm saying 1391 not just merch it's a whole brand people so this is the first collection i will be having more collections uh this is gonna be a dope ass brand a lot of people been complimenting the um the logo been getting a lot of good feedback on it and I really do appreciate it, guys. Everybody that's been supporting and buying the merch, I appreciate it so much. You guys are the best. It really does help. All of the money that I get, legit, all of the money that I get is going right back into the channel, uh, right back into this channel and the gaming channel. You know, I do have the gaming channel up already, so if you guys wanna check that out and support the kid, if that's something that you guys are interested in, or if you just wanna show your support, you know, we're growing, uh, streaming starts on i'm gonna say somewhere around november 10th through the 20th you know it comes in the new consoles come in around that time and uh that's when i'm gonna start streaming i'll be streaming on twitch i'll be streaming on facebook and i'll be streaming here on youtube so you know what i'm saying you guys go follow me on all those platforms you know and uh, i really appreciate it guys we're doing real big things man i got a whole lot on the way for this baby here and i got a whole lot on the way um, and other aspects of my career. You know what I'm saying, man? We out here rhyming, man. I might just drop a mixtape too. You know what I'm saying? Let me know if you guys want to hear the mixtape because I got bars, you know? Uh, no, no lie, I got them bars, man. I got more bars than a goddamn prison. 
you know what I'm saying? A little, you know, a little corny analogy, but you guys know. But no, in all seriousness though, thank you guys so much. I, I, I really can't say it enough, man. I gotta show you guys my appreciation each and every time out. I gotta say it a hundred million times, even though it could get annoying, I'm sure. Uh, I just gotta say it as many times as possible, man, because I feel like I can't say it enough. I can't show you guys my appreciation enough. It really does mean a lot from the bottom of my heart. I truly do appreciate it. So thank you guys so much. Let me know what you guys think on the topic of this video. Uh, comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see next. I still do take suggestions. You know, we'll get it done for you guys, man. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, because I think about 80% of the people that watch my videos aren't subscribed, man. So come on, man, help your boy out, baby. You know, if you're enjoying the content and you're watching it, please do me that huge favor and hit that subscribe, hit that notification bell, you know, like, share, comment. All of that really does help tremendously. And as I always say, man, I appreciate it greatly. So, you know, that's what it is, baby. Who is Louis 13 checking out? Salute. I'm gonna catch you guys on the next one, man.